there's a Marvel movie coming out this year that I know everyone's excited about. And that's Craven the Hunter. And so it is with a heavy heart that I announce the following. Craven has been pushed back from the August release all the way to December. Taking the place of the new Karate Kid film. That's right, there's a new Karate Kid film coming out, which will get moved to 2025. Let's speculate why. Aaron Taylor Johnson stars as Craven the Hunter, one of Spider-Man's most fierce foes. And he'll be taking on the web slinger, TBD. Not in this movie. Now, this is an origin film. Kind of like Morbius or Venom or Madam Web. That's right, it's Craven time, but not until December. Sony, in their infinite wisdom, has moved yet another property back. They're notorious for rescheduling. They've done it many times. They're going to keep doing it because they're smart. Because they know that the people are craving an R-rated version of this film. My wild speculation is that they're going to pump this thing with a little R rating. They're going to thunk, infuse this piece of shit with some swear words. They're going to pump up the veins with CG blood that they're going to splatter all along this pile of crap. And they're going to make this movie just as bad as it would have been had it been PG-13. But now it's R. So we can get some of those angsty teens and younger audiences in. It, listen. Theaters don't check IDs anymore. They haven't checked IDs in a fortnight. I remember when I was a wee lad, I'd walk to the theater and someone would be sweeping inside. Hello, laddie, what movie are you going to see? One ticket for Kill Bill, please. Ah, Kill Bill. What a film. What a film. Too bad you're not fucking 18. Get out. And then he snaps the stick. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Sorry. Subscribe for really good impressions. You walk into a movie theater today, you're lucky if you see three workers. Two of which are trying to hang themselves by their own belts, attaching it to the popcorn maker. Uh, you just walk by them. You feel bad, but eh, you got a movie to see. But it's not going to be Craven. Not yet. This thing needs time to cook. Sony has had a bit of a rough go with the Sony Spider-Man universe that doesn't have Spider-Man in it. Madam Web was just their most recent folly. Morbi shit did terrible numbers previously. Remember when they, they, they saw that ad campaign talking about bringing it back? It's Morbin time. So they actually brought it back to theaters and made a few hundred bucks. <laughs> they made like nothing. <laughs> so embarrassing. Venom is about the only decent thing. And I think that that, I mean, that's a generous... That's a generous term. Decent. I think it's trash. But some people like it. Venom, let there be garbage is absolutely crap. I don't know who you are that thinks it's good. I, I can't imagine the taste that you have. But that's fine. It's your taste. It's, it's your life to live. But outside of Craven and Venom 3, there's really nothing else on the docket as far as I know. What I'd like to see from the Sony Spider-Man universe that doesn't have Spider-Man in it is nothing. Shut it down. It's, it's really embarrassing. Turn it off, switch it off, walk away. They're not even making money anymore on these things. It's one thing if you're putting out bottom of the barrel material and you're seeing a return on investment. Fine, fair. You're at least getting some buck for your crappy bang, but now you're not even getting that. The only other thing I could say that could potentially, potentially save this is if they bring him in. If they bring in Andrew Garfield. Promises made, promises kept. The universe is on its last legs. Let's bring in Garfield. Everybody loves him. Uh, listen, I think it's horrible to put him in this universe. I'm saying from a, from a financial standpoint, from a smart marketing tactic, Sony should do this. Sony should hand Andrew Garfield a whole bunch of cash, secure him if they even can use Spider-Man in these movies. I don't even know if they can at this point. But that's how you get people into the seats. You put him against Venom or even Morbius. People would actually go just for Andrew Garfield, I believe. And I think he got a big bump with new generations of kids who saw him maybe even for the first time in the new Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. No Way Home. Now, Sony won't do that because they love Tom Holland. And I'm pretty sure they have a contract with Tom Holland. That's why he's scheduled to be in those Uncharted movies. That they have a whole thing worked out with him and with Disney to get him into their movies at some point. Or to just kind of like shoehorn Venom and Venom characters into the post credit scenes of MCU movies. It's a nightmare. 
and it's a mess and it's not working. But those are my only two options and suggestions. One, put out Venom and then close the whole thing down. Put your tail between your legs and run. Or two, keep the garbage ball rolling a little longer. Introduce, reintroduce Andrew Garfield. Put him in this cinematic universe. Have him take on the Sinister Six or whatever they're cooking up, I guess. Andrew can don a brand new Spider-Man suit with Pepsi insignias on it. A giant Pepsi Man logo in the center. Because if you saw Madam Web, it's all about that Pepsi promotion, baby. It's all about that Pepsi cross promo. Is there a possibility that postponing Craven to the Christmas holiday season is a good thing? No, I don't think so. I, I really, I think it's going to be terrible. I just don't have any faith at all in Sony making anything decent out of this franchise. Uh, that, that's just my two cents though. Maybe you think otherwise. Maybe you think, you know what? This is the one that gets it right. Aaron Taylor Johnson's a good actor. Craven's a cool character. They're going to make it work. Let me know in the comments. Again, I would love if you subscribe to the channel. I post movie content every single week. Would love to have you stick around. And if you really like what I'm doing, I have a second channel. It's newer, Adam Does Rants, where I just complain about the silliest topics you could possibly imagine. We're all in it together is kind of the vibe I'm trying to go with over there. Would love to see you in both places. Hopefully I do. All right, take care.